So we're a very large company, over a million and a half square feet. And well over $200 million of capital equipment. It's a family owned company. We're a very large, small company. I've been here 27 years. I've been in the Mercury uh, family for 44 years. Everybody here is treated like family. Everybody feels like they're family. And we all work together on a daily basis. And I'm very proud to say that we have all the equipment that is needed to do complete metal fabrication, forming, laser, brackets, covers, frames, tubular structures. The cabinets, the enclosures, the panels, the doors, um, kiosk machines. Racks, cabinets, all decorative panels. Any type of raw materials from stainless steel, aluminum, coppers, coal rolled, hard rolled, galvanized. Uh, we can do it all. Uh, we can bring the product in from raw material. We'll then take that and run it through our laser operations, our CNC turrets, do all the metal forming, and run it right up to the welding line and paint it and ship them a, a completed painted unit. Actually, the supply chain management. Now, if they even want more than that, we will then take that painted unit and completely integrate that for our customers. We make great cabinets, we make great doors, but why ship air? We can do full integration, we can add your cables, we can add your hardware. We do all kinds of assembly, anything from labeling, we do all the painting and powder coating. A lot of nuts, bolts, and screws. We could also take it beyond that and add a lot of wiring. We do brazing. Uh, we do refrigeration equipment. Uh, so we can take it to whatever level our customer wants. So think big. Mercury has a history of innovation, adaptation, and thinking big. In fact, if you look out our front window, you'll see the old runway where the concept of thinking big took off in 1908 when Glenn Curtis flew the first ever pre-announced flight in North America. A year later, he beat the Wright brothers to market by becoming the first U.S. licensed aircraft manufacturer. Because we were the first guys that were part of producing commercial aircraft all the way into the first plane that did airmail, we then took that technology and developed cabinets and structures and mainframes, which led us into the days of high volume personal computers. When the tech boom hit, Mercury adapted once again. There was a point we were manufacturing 10,000 personal computers a day for our customers. Three days from supply chain of raw material to a customer's dock, 4,500 parts per shift, three shifts a day, seven days a week. No project was too big for us. Everything U.S. built. Part of the formula to be successful in our industry today is bringing a product that may be a high labor content of human labor and automating it into with technology. Mercury's not afraid to invest. So technology is really one of our competitive edges. We can take your product as small as one that's holding a sensor for an optical device all the way up to a 30-foot bus frame for electric school buses. We're loaded down with lasers, with CNC turrets. Uh, I've got a well shop that's bigger than most people's entire shop. Uh, this is a five foot by 10 foot bed. It's one of the larger lasers in our industry. This room, 18 press brake machines. While we have more than a dozen press brakes, it doesn't mean that your product needs to be made by hand. Behind us is a Ross panel vendor. Um, what this machine does is it can take a sheet metal and forms it pretty much robotically. Uh, it's auto loading, which means we do not have to have an operator load the clamps and have it form. It'll do it itself once it is loaded in the machine. We have a welder also self-indexing. Uh, while the robot is actually welding on one weldment, the operator is now on the other side setting up for the next weldment to be done. We're putting together materials, whether it's spray arc, whether it's MIG, TIG, plasma, all of those different methods of joining material even toggle locking where we're compressing material together without a weldment. We also do some plastic injection molding as well. The technology that we have put in is reducing the labor costs, making us competitive with international suppliers. And we are now utilizing all of that to branch off into other areas of business. We're doing alternate energies, we're in transportation. Uh, we are still in some of the computer businesses. Uh, we're just making metal cabinets and stuff for communication industries. Ideally what we're looking for is a finished product to go outside of our door where people can take advantage of all of the capabilities we have. Come in, utilize everything, complete unit, painted and shipped out the door. Mercury is creatively always trying to cut your cost by reducing the labor content but also putting the right element of build 
and integrity into your product. When you think about your next project, think big. <laughs>